What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here today and oh man do I have a huge video for you. We're going to talk about a lot of new details about the game, some new screenshots to show, trailer analysis and much more. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay so let's just start off small for starters because there's a quite a lot to get through but uh, yeah. So the PlayStation 4 version of the game will have some enhancements compared to, uh, you know, the, the other versions. But I imagine this will also apply for the PC and Xbox One version. So, what it will have is the PS4 version will, of the game will um, feature improved graphics and other aesthetic enhancements which take advantage of the more powerful hardware. In addition to this, you will also uh, it will also support Vita Remote Play on the system. So. For example, uh, if one of your family members would like to use the TV, you could literally uh, go to remote play with your PS4 and Vita and carry on playing your game while they're watching TV. That's a really nice feature, I think, and with a game like Spider-Man, it's going to be become really fun because you can just sit playing Spider-Man in bed if your eyes are getting sore from the TV. So that's a really nice feature, and uh, I don't actually have a Vita, but that definitely makes me um, tempted to get one just because of that feature. Next up, the city will be roughly the same size as it was in the original, you know, Amazing Spider-Man 1 video game. I mean, it was a decent size, I think, but even though they're saying that, it does see, look pretty big, especially in the new gameplay. It looks much bigger than the first game. But uh, the city will now contain more diverse architecture and unique neighborhoods. Um, much of the story will now be outside. Um, the Beanox have designed new and interesting crimes to stop and the hero menace system which gives the player a good reason to stop them so you know the problem i had with the first game city honestly was that i really didn't care about getting down on the street and walking around because it didn't look that interesting there was just people cars and that was it but in this one there seems to be alleyways tunnels um there's just so much uh, that, that i definitely really want to explore on the ground and if you can play as Peter Parker um, in free roam, it gives you that much more of the reason to do it. Okay, so before we do uh, the walkthrough trailer analysis, I just wanted to show the uh, recently released new screenshots for the game. And as you can see here, the first one isn't really much to say, apart from Spider-Man's doing his web yo-yo and maybe trying to do a stealth attack or something. It looks pretty cool. And next up, we have the uh, another one of Spider-Man kicking uh, a thug, and I think that's one of the the ones that wear the balaclavas. Like they look to be like a Russian gang or something. They're definitely not the gangsters or the Oscorp ones, from what I can tell. And he seems to be dropping his AK-47 while Spider-Man's kicking him, which is pretty nice. So now let's finally get to the walkthrough trailer analysis. Okay, so in the walkthrough trailer, which um, you can watch at any time if you just click the link in the description, it'll take you right to uh, the link. So, yeah, in the trailer, they said that the swinging mechanics uh, will now include swing boosts, catapult, horizontal wall running, and more, which you'll be able to unlock through the game. So, unlike the first game where you basically just were, yeah, go, just go, and you had all your um, swinging abilities at the start, in this one, it'll you know you, you get to um, take the time to upgrade Spider-Man and make him faster and stronger and things. And by the end of the game, you'll have a really fast Spider-Man probably, and it'll make the game that much more fun. So because you'll be swinging across the city, stopping crimes, trying on different suits, and all these other things. So yeah, that's that's really nice. And uh, definitely, when you see the gameplay uh, of the walkthrough trailer, I think you'll be very impressed with the swinging because. I honestly think it looks absolutely incredible <laughs> and I just oh I just want this game now just want it now okay so Peter now has um, like the first game an in-game cell phone although I don't think this is you know another Oz phone like there was in the first game so the in-game cell phone allows you to track all the activity that is going on in the city now um, th I'd, there's probably more but in the uh, walkthrough trailer they showed um, icons for a photo investigation mission where you have to go take a picture of a suspicious situation, um, a police deadlock where you have to uh, subdue the criminals and break the deadlock. You can also rescue civilians which we knew and so it's probably like you know burning buildings and things. And last but not least go to Russian hideouts so you can take back stolen Oscorp technology which they stole. 
So there's a lot of um, nice activities, uh, you know, that the player can participate in the game, which is really nice. But if you decide not to take part in the activities, then, um, like they said the other day, task force officers will actually react and evolve differently, which is part of the new hero or menace system that will affect Spider-Man's reputation throughout the game. So they got into a little more detail into it, and um, I'm not sure if it's police officers. It does sound like police may try to shoot Spider-Man, which is kind of interesting. And it does appear on your map like you, sh you should see now, so... Maybe we can actually go up to them and attack them and things, which is pretty cool. So, I mean, uh, there was an interview where, um, I think it was IGN or something, and they were saying, they asked them, what's the benefit of being a menace? And they said, oh, there's no benefit. But maybe you can make your own benefit with roleplay and make Spider-Man into a bad guy and, like, the symbiote makes it look that much cooler or something. You know, personally, I think the possibilities are endless with this game, especially when I tell you even more the features that are coming. The smartphone can also be used to check Peter's messages, uh, upgrades, and also utilities. They also um, it also lists something to do with his suit, but I'm not sure what that could be. It may be something to do with uh, the perks, because um, Beanox said that if you wear, say, for example, the Miles Morales suit the most, then that suit will be the most, um, I guess, strongest and you know, the most useful suit because you use that one the most compared to all the others. So, you know, it, it rewards you for what suit you're wearing, which is, which is pretty cool if you ask me. I, I like that idea. I mean, there's a lot of suits that I'll be wearing a lot in the, in this game and uh, I'll most likely, up, uh, you know, upgrade all of them eventually. But it's a nice feature, definitely. Okay, so the upgrades we see in the walkthrough trailer are Web Shoot, you can upgrade your efficiency, strength and stickiness. Spider Sense, your range, sight, and accuracy. Uh, your web brush, you can upgrade it to be able to throw, tackle, and stun enemies, which is pretty cool. Web pull, you can upgrade that to have a weapon jam, speed, and also clothesline. So you can probably just you know clothesline an enemy. Web boost, uh, you can have. You can unlock a boost, slingshot one, and slingshot two. We did see a glimpse of the sl slingshot in uh, the very first gameplay they released before the walkthrough trailer. But, um, so, yeah, I, I, um, it can probably, you know, if you upgrade it, I imagine you can go further or something. The seismic blast, uh, which you can upgrade ch the charge rate twice, and then after that you unlock an impact upgrade. And then the Ionic Webbing, um, which you can unlock a Weakening 1, Weakening 2, and Shattering. So you make it stronger and it's, and it's easier for you to take down your opponents. Okay, now I'm going to talk about probably my favourite part of the entire walkthrough trailer. So when you're swinging around the city, you may come across a train. You, well, Spider-Man can simply just jump on that train and it will take you right to uh, Aunt May's home. And once you're there, you'll spawn as Peter Parker and you're inside the house of Aunt May. And you can walk around literally all of Aunt May's house it's it's a it's insane it's it's amazing and Aunt May's actually sitting there as well which makes me think you might be able to go over and talk to her because in the Amazing Spider-Man 1 you could talk to Gwen and you could talk to Dr. Connors and in this game they've said that in missions you will be able to choose um, different dialogue options so you can ask uh, characters different things so maybe we can ask Aunt May lots of things like how she's doing and stuff which is pretty cool uh, so yeah Aunt May's home will have a lot of interactivity in the building, so you can replay any completed missions, which is always nice to see. You can buy any uh, available upgrades, which you haven't bought yet, and of course you can try on any of the unlocked suits. Plus, if you see now, um, it should be on screen now, there's also a window which is open, interestingly, and uh, in the first game, they had a window open, and when you jumped out of it, you would just you know swing back to New York. So I think that's either A, um, you know, being able to swing back to New York, or B, being able to change uh, the time of day, or C, uh, both of them. Like uh, how, like that's how it worked uh, when you beat the first game, anyway. So I mean, we'll just have to wait and see. But it's, it's certainly interesting to speculate about. Okay, so in total. There will be 19 suits in the game, but that is including the Web Threads DLC pack suits. So if you don't have that DLC pack, then there's just 15. But each suit that is in the game will have different stats and bonuses attached to it, allowing you to choose which one fits your playstyle. Now we already knew that, but now to get down to what actual suits are in the game. So 
they only showed 12 suits in the actual uh, video, but there are 15 in the game, so, you know, we're missing three important suits. I think they could be um, Spider-Man, uh, Sam Raimi Spider-Man, the red suit, Sam Raimi Spider-Man, black suit, and maybe there's another 100% thing where you unlock a black suit version of Amazing Spider-Man 2. Maybe it's something like that. Anyway, the costumes in the game are that were shown are the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit, the Vigilante suit from the Amazing Spider-Man 1, the Amazing Spider-Man 1 suit, you know, the, the yellow-eyed, really nice-looking one, Scarlet Spider Kane, which was also in the first game, Hornet, uh, Spider-Man 2099, which you have to see, he actually has the glowing effect from Shadow Dimensions and Edge of Time, which is really nice that they added that, Superior Spider-Man version 2, Flipside, which is the enemy of Spider-Man 2099, Miles Morales, Big Time Green, which was in uh, Amazing Spider-Man 1 as well, Ricochet, and the new Spider-Armor. So in the game there will be certain missions which will take place outside of the city, which contain open areas that you can explore, but it's up to you on how you want to approach the mission. So uh, the mission they showed in the walkthrough trailer was outside the city and it was pretty wide open actually and it definitely didn't you know it didn't look like it was saying look you have to take these guys down stealthily i mean it did look like a stealth mission but it, it wasn't forcing you you know you could it was completely up to you on how you wanted to take down all the enemies and the ways you take them down was i mean i like the the first game's stealth mechanics but this one is so much better. I mean, you can do them on walls. You can hang on a tree and uh, web yo-yo someone. It's it's crazy. It's there's so many uh, new stealth mechanics in the game. It's it's just awesome. Okay, so another thing they also showed in the walkthrough trailer was um, stealth gameplay, and it's if you didn't like it in the first game, then I think you're going to absolutely love it in this one because it has been extremely improved and. You can literally web someone on the ceiling, um, on the walls, on a tree. <laughs> it's just, it's just everywhere. You can, it's amazing how many ways you can uh, take down an enemy now. So, like in the gameplay, um, Spider-Man can now repel and perform amazing inverted takedowns anywhere and at any time. And in the gameplay, he does it from a tree and he like webs the guy up, and it's, it's just so awesome. <laughs> There's another one where he, like he just sneaks behind some guy and chucks him in the air and then webs him to the gr to the ceiling. It's just there's so many ways and none of them were the same so who knows if there's even more that we don't know about um, for the stealth attacks. Uh, another thing is that spider sense is now a game mechanic which allows you to scan the area making it easier for you to plan how you're going to take down your foes. So in the first game you'd be you know you come around a corner you'd see an enemy and you'd be like oh no what, how did I not notice him. So this time around you'll be able to scan the area and you'll be like Okay, so now I know this enemy's here, 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 here. I can easily take them down um, one at a time without them all getting spotted um, at the same time. And last but not least, armored guards can now be taken down with a stealth attack or by using the Ionic Web Upgrade, which allows you to break their armor. However, if you do use the Ionic Web Upgrade, you're basically um, alerting all the enemies of your presence and they're all just going to come after you. So. That's more for the player who wants to go in loud, I guess, but for the stealthy, quiet player, you want to go and uh, stealth attack the armored guard. Okay, so the last thing they showed was our very first look at Wilson Fisk, aka the Kinpin, and he looks pretty badass if you ask me. I mean, I like how there's monitors uh, of him monitoring the entire city, and if you look carefully at them, you get a good idea of how... Um, I think one of them has got Times Square on it and it looks much more brighter than the first game so you know it gives you an example of what we might see which is definitely really really cool. <laughs> Alright guys I hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for lots more thank you for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe.